Welcome back guys, my name is Legit Lee, and today I wanted to address a problem that I'm having with Blender and uh, and Windows. I guess Blender has a little bit of an issue going on with the grease pencil, and I'm going to explain that to you here in this video. Um, I know this is a weird looking video, I'm using my cell phones, I was trying to make this video really, really quick. But um, this is a touchscreen laptop that I'm using, it's called the Lenovo Yoga 720p. It's a 4K laptop for resolution. Does It's a 2-in-1, so it does a tablet mode where it folds all the way over into a tablet if you want to use it as a tablet, which is great for us uh, grease pencil artists. And um, it has a graphics card as well built in. It's a 1050. And I'm currently using a Wacom Bamboo stylus. And uh, this one is around 25 to 30 bucks. The other one is a Wacom Bamboo Ink uh, pro or uh, I think no plus it's a it's a plus and that one it has a rechargeable pen in it uh, it's a rechargeable battery anyway and that's the only reason why it costs more that one's around like ninety dollars but it is nicer it probably has better drivers or something too they probably like tweaked it a little bit but for the most part they're basically the same thing um, the only thing is you have to put a nine uh, a triple a battery inside of it Anyway, um, so my issue is with Blender is that it's not registering my pen strokes. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. So with this bamboo ink, I can double click on it. I set my double tap to open up Blender. So if I tap twice, it opens up Blender. And now we can go into our 2D animation. And so, you know, pulled up great. So now if I try to draw fast, let's say if I'm trying to do a quick sketch, it's not registering my pen strokes all that well. You can see that. And you can hear me like tap on that screen and it's not really doing it as well as I want. So of all those, you know, lines, I only got like six up there. But, um... Blender kind of addresses this issue in their forum and their uh, PDF document that for Windows-based uh, operating systems, they need to change in the preferences from automatic to Windows Ink. So if I go into Edit, go down to Preferences, and if you go into Input, which my tab's already selected for, you can see I already have Windows 8 set up, but you will, when you first open it, will be underneath automatic. <clears throat> and uh, so it works. I mean, that is what automatic is doing is just registering whatever the pen they think it's assigned to, the API information, but that's not going to work for our Windows based program, so we have our operating system, so we have to change it to Windows Inc. So once that happens, we can actually start drawing now. So if I close out Blender, oh, uh, this tab over here. Sorry if it's taking so long. Um, now all I have to do is start drawing, and there you have it. So I can sketch something really quick, really fast. And I shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag, but it's very minuscule, guys. So, that's the problem. Whenever I close out Blender, so if I click over here, and discard changes. Now, we're discarding the changes for what we just drew, but that doesn't mean that we're discarding the changes for what we set up in our preference tab. Um, so those are automatically saved with Blender unless you go into the settings and physically remove the auto uh, save feature so if I close that out bring it back up here with two clicks one two up oh, on one hold on it brought up a sketchbook because that's set up for my one uh, one click so if I double click really quick brings up blender and uh, so if we go into 2d animation again and we try doing it, it's not going to register as well as it was a second ago. I mean, it kind of does and kind of doesn't. It's still really laggy and barely getting my pen strokes there. 
But once we go back into preferences, so I'll go to edit, preferences, and you can see Windows Inks is still selected, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select it here. Just select it again. And then if we close it out, now we can draw again without any issues, see? So it's using the drivers now, but I guess it won't do it unless you go and set it up every time. So even with it saved and you close it out, it's not going to do it. But it will allow you to, so say you, you, know, you drew this and this isn't what you want and you want to redo it. If you go into File and then hit New up there at the top, and then you go to 2D Animation right here and you discard changes again it'll still be registered because you never closed out blender so you can still draw without any issues really so that's the problem that I'm having with blender and if you guys are running like a Microsoft Surface Book or any kind of Windows based operating tablet for sketching with grease pencil that would be your issue is that the program isn't going to be running properly unless you go back into your preferences every time you open Blender and change it to Windows Ink. But after that, you, you're free to draw as much as you like and it should be working just fine for you. Um, I didn't get this information from anybody. I literally had to figure it out myself because I was debating if I was going to have to sell this laptop and get me a drawing tablet because I've seen it working on uh, CG Geeks. Uh, he has a video about him drawing a, um, I think it was a zombie, and he was talking about the tablet he was using. He got it from GearBest. I guess they sponsored the video for him. So I double checked the um, the tab, the link in his description, and it brought me over to GearBest. I've seen the tablet right now as of 2019, November 17th, that uh, the tablet was going for a sale. Uh, it was a fully uh graphics tablet so you can see and draw on the screen it was 350 bucks basically and that's like a two-day sale going on but i don't know what it would be afterwards but um that right there was already red flagging me i was thinking i was like this laptop right here is like 1200 dollars to two grand brand new so there's no way that this tablet slash laptop wouldn't be able to handle drawing on it so I double checked some information and then figured that out for myself and now I have Blender's Grease Pencil working better for me. So in retrospect, if you guys are looking into getting a tablet or something to use for Blender, I would say I would definitely recommend this laptop or um you know or you know CG Geeks touch screen if you're looking at a budget I guess. But this one will do everything, the three D designing and grease pencil obviously so I would recommend this one over the graphics tablet any day of the week but um, I just want to give this information out to you guys because I know that nobody really had it and I just want to make sure that I told you guys about it because I really am trying to help everybody that loves blender as much as I do so uh, if you guys are interested in any videos that has to pertain to stuff like this definitely consider subscribing hitting that notification bell you know, comment down below if you have any questions about anything like this. I will be having more videos coming out shortly. The reason why I'm even doing this is because soon I'll be doing my own reference images through Blender and designing the characters all from scratch pretty much. Um, so I'll be having those videos come out soon too. And then I'll be able to 3D print them and all kind of great stuff. So definitely sit tuned for any of those videos. My name is Legitly and I am signing out you guys. Peace out.